We got the goods. Let's go open it. Okay, everyone, we are back from GameStop. It is actually the next day because I had adult responsibilities and couldn't play this right away. But as soon as this video is over, you best bet that I'm going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom. I am super excited. We're first going to begin with the pre-order bonuses. And just to let you all know, uh, I probably posted this in my Instagram post. I originally was not going to pre-order the collector's edition, but you know, Collector's editions always wind up heading my way anyway. So first off, we have the wooden plaque. And by the way, like real wood, actual quality. It says, wooden plaque, adventure is yours to create in a world fueled by your imagination. Discover new ways to save a transformed Hyrule in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Game only on the Nintendo Switch. And here is the wooden plaque. Once again, like I said, wood, and I don't really know what this symbol is yet. I'm gonna assume it's Ganon. Something, it has something to do with Ganon. No context, I watched the reveal trailer of the series and I haven't seen anything else from the game since. Next up, we have the launch item that you could get from GameStop. It came with an arm sleeve. I'm never gonna wear this, but I'll still open it up just to show you all what it looks like. Really cute. Kind of matches what's going on with Link's arm. And yeah, I have little tiny arms, but this is exactly what it looks like. It has the symbol. Looking pretty cool. And now, it's time to tackle the big boy. Here is the front of the collector's edition. Here is the side of it, which by the way, this is actually really heavy. It has Tears of the Kingdom on the side, and this is the back. It's got Ganon, or Ganondorf, and I believe he is kidnapping Zelda gonna include game, art book, steel book, pin set, and poster. Once again, that on the side again. Went ahead and pulled the plastic off of the camera and the first thing you are greeted with, boom, very awesome. Second thing, it's gonna be this, then the box is empty on the inside. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the steel book case. Looks like we've got some awesome symbols on the front and on the back. That's gonna be Zelda and one of the characters I do not know yet, another symbol. Opening it up, we've got Ganon attacking Hyrule, it looks like, with the bow goblins. Yeah, really nice quality. Of course, this is the game that's going to be going in this awesome steelbook case. Here is the official case for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We have Link up at the top right here. I think I showed off the poster from GameStop and here is the back as well. Explore, create, and discover. It's gonna come with amiibo functionality as well. When you open this up, you have the same thing that's on the inside of the steel bookcase and you have the game. Pulling this out, this is actually where the art book is hiding, but we're going to ignore that. And now, this may or may not be the pin set I heard all about. Everything is very nicely packaged. This is a really tight fit. And here are the pins. I have no idea what these symbols are. This is like a velvet type casing. And it has, here is the back of the pins as well, the quality. It's going to have Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. So yeah, these are really cool pins. I don't know where I'll put them. Hopefully after I played the game, I'll know what each symbol is. Maybe it's New Guardians, who knows? Really cool stuff. Next up, I will show you the steel poster, and it actually has instructions for the poster right here. Due to the strength of the adhesive use, the adhesive tape may damage surfaces. If you attempt to remove it after application, please consider it carefully by placing a magnet, and it gives you instructions on how to uh, do that. Taking a look further at the box, it's got Tears of the Kingdom on the side. We've got Ganon again attacking Hyrule, and just by icon art on the bottom. Very cool that it comes in a box like this. When we open it up, it is, looks like it's very sealed. And it's not just your little average poster. It's a magnet. It's like they said, it's got like a, a large magnet on the back. So maybe you can like, I don't know, put it on your fridge or something. All right, and it is of the art that we've seen at GameStop without the logo, very cool. But yeah, it's it's metal. And like I said, this is like a magnet. 
with adhesive on it so that you can stick it somewhere. Really cool. I'm really glad it's not actually just a paper one. Also, you can really smell that adhesive too off the poster, but um, I'm really glad that it's not just a paper poster because usually those come crumbled and folded and it's got lines to it. AKA like my Fire Emblem poster that I recently got when I did a boxing of Encore. You can watch that here, by the way. And last but not least, here is the awesome art book. I'm gonna try to not show off too much because of spoilers and this game just came out, but I'm sure, like I usually say, that someone has posted or scanned this for you all to look online. But the quality of the art book, per usual from Nintendo, is really, really awesome. We have Link in his new outfit, and we have some of the Bokawan Army stuff. I'm going to take a few minutes to look at some of this and the characters. Here is some of the environments and the weapons you can get in the game. More cool stuff. Some of the temples. I'm skipping through this some more, just because also I don't want to be spoiled as well. More characters, more locations, but very, very detailed book. It's looking like this is going to be a really, really good game. I've been seeing reviews of the game and so far, all of the reviewers are giving it almost straight 10, it's crazy. But closing it up, because I don't want to spoil myself anymore. And here's the back of the art book. But that is going to be all for this Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. I hope that you all enjoyed the opening. Uh, like I said, I wasn't expecting to get the actual Collector's Edition, so I'm pretty excited to play this. But like I said, hope you all enjoyed the review. Now I'm off to go play it. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I do Pokemon card videos, I do travel videos, and apparently now I open up collector's editions of stuff. You know, I also have a Disney 100 collection car collection video coming out soon. I ordered that just today, so like I said, make sure you're subscribed. But thank you all so much for the support. I appreciate it. See you next time. Peace out. Bye.